everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the game. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying and having a nice Monday. Despite the circumstances, we've got a double episode today and you probably, if, well, if you haven't, check out the Jurassic World the live video that just went up an hour ago, I think. That left you half an hour. If you watched that as soon as it went up, you had half an hour to watch it, half an hour break. Now you watch this one for half an hour. Got you sorted all here in the Game Beaver channel. So, what do we have today? Well, there is a new first ever uh, Juggernaut 32 gold thing. So, it's a community event. With these, I... I always thought that they were never, um, uh, like, legit. I always thought it was just an algorithm that if we're going to win it, we're going to win it. doesn't really matter uh, if if we all participate. It's one of those things, you know, where app games, they, they, you protect, like they tell you you're fighting other people, PvP, when you're not really, like this game does. And I always thought that the community events um, that we see here, I always think, like, look how it's going up, right? Look how quickly that's going up. I don't think that this is legit. I think it's just on a timer and it just goes up. There's no way that their server is so active that every second it is calculating exactly how much. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I think either we're going to get it or we're not. And you could actually follow it for a minute, see how much you gain in a minute, and then check how much time is left. And you'll, you, you would probably get exactly the right time it's going to take to get it. Uh, that's mine. Anyway, that's mine. Uh, that's my theory. But that's just a theory. A beaver theory. So we've also... Look at this. So you've got these bundles. If you want to, you can spend 20 quid and get one of these. A chance for one of those. Uh, probably going to get a common... Um, and then, you know, 50 bucks. Is it worth it? Nah, not really. How about Soria? One was less than 1% chance to get those. Less than 1% chance. I really don't know who's buying these anymore. They're just not worth it. If you're going to spend money on the game, don't spend it that way. Jesus. Or buy the Smilodon pack. Good God, no. 70 quid gets you possibly 1,500 bucks and a Smilodon. Okay, what can 70 quid actually get you? It can get you... What, over 8,000 bucks? Yeah, I'd rather spend it on that, if I've got to be honest. But it, don't buy anyway. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. Don't make my mistake. Um, so not only do we have that event, but we've also got this. A deep in the caves, a new aquatic creature is on its way. Now, I, I like it and I also don't like it. Um, I've, I've already seen some comments uh, saying that it could be Basilosaurus or Basilosaurus. Um, and I think it might be. Uh, if anybody remembers that from Jurassic Park Builder, that was one of the dinosaurs in there, one of the sea creatures. Um, now, I would love it to be Basilosaurus, right? But if it is, it's not going to be the Basilosaurus I want because... And this is the problem with this game. I don't know what, what it is. I don't know whether they, they would have to have more code to do it. But if it's Basilosaurus, it's going to be... It, or it's going to look like that. It's going to look like a Dacosaurus. It's going to look like a Geosaurus. It's going to look like anything that's a cavern that has this animation. It's going to look exactly like that. And that sucks. Because Basilosaurus was actually quite long. Um, if anything, Basilosaurus should be a surface. And I only say that. Like, Basilosaurus should look like that. It should be longer. It should probably have shorter flippers or something. But it shouldn't look like a Dacosaurus. But because it's a cavern, we're not going to get this look. We're going to get the Dacosaur look. Um, I would much prefer it, but it's hard because I'd prefer it to look like this, but also be a cavern. But you can't have both. It's either a cavern and it doesn't have this animation set and look, or it's a surface. Um, and the reason why they probably haven't made Basilosaurus um, in the surface is because we've got Hainosaurus, we've got Mosasaurus, we've got Tylosaurus, and it would just be another Mosasaurid looking creature. It was really no point. But the fact that it's a cavern means that, it's a, you know, it's something we need. Um, so that's coming, but I'm kind of tempted. We could do that. We could do that, but I've been saving. I've been a busy beaver behind the scenes because there is something, um, that takes, well, I mean, you have to play the game quite often. Ooh, look, a Pritrodon fusion pack. That, that's a cool looking pack. The price, however, is not. 
So you're, you're probably going to get a prime suit just at the Metrodon. And then maybe food and 5,000 DNA. Is it worth 50 quid? No. What about a century pack? Ooh, that's good prizes. That's good. But the price is not good. And 2,000 bucks. Like 2,000 bucks and a hybrid like this. If you got, and 5% for a Metrophodon's pretty decent, but it's not worth 100 quid. I'm so sorry, it really isn't. Is there, there's no extra special packs for, um, no, for trading for coins or anything, no. Nothing like that. Okay, okay, fair enough. Let's have a look quickly, a quick look in the trade harbor. Ooh, a natural science center for 200 bucks. Hell yeah, I'm getting rid of that. Good God, a uh, buy, you will not be missed. Oh, that's, Tempting, <laughs> but no, I'm not selling one of my rare things, and that is awful. Other way round, round, fantastic. I'll take it, but not that way. Um, but no, the battle events. I love all the the details they went to to make these. Like, look at that earth shattering event. That looks so cool. The pack itself, everything looks awesome about it. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, so let's quickly just bang this one out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, get our uh, special event that I'm going to show you. So, you can either do the tournament to unlock a tournament creature, or you can do um, the 28 event medals you need, I think. It's 28 or something like that. And if you do that, you get to participate in a tournament event that is five battles. But at the end of those five battles, you are guaranteed to win that tournament creature rather than sitting down and playing for about three to four hours. Um, you can just play normal every day and then eventually earn this. So it, I think I'm one off. Yeah, 27 out of 28 Bonogamous Clash of the Titans. That's what I'm talking about. So we do one of these. We get Clash of Titans, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to battle for survival. Eh, just put that one in. Why not? I don't have a perfect team that I can put in to have a, like, to brainlessly win. I can do, like, two teams and brainlessly win, like, Alangosaurus and whatever will defeat the Bonitosaurus and the Utahraptor. And like you saw at the first battle, the, um, what was it? The Labyrinthosaurus easily beat the Flyers. But with this one, it's I, I have to concentrate a tiny bit, like like two percent brain power here, small brain, <laughs> because I can't kill it in one hit. So I just have to go for some reserves. It's not like I'm gonna lose, because I have 600 health and they have 97 attack, and already uh, three's guaranteed me a kill here. So I might as well just go for three. Next turn, three reserves or four reserves, and uh, we're done. I just go for an attack after that. So again. 40, it's all right. It's okay. But we go for three, because why not? And yep, there you go. We saved the whole turn. Woohoo! And that is a food which we do not need, because we are on 95 million food. But what we needed was, of course, the VIP points. I'll, I'll not say no to that. But unlocking an... Where's it going to do it? Kutcha! There you go. No sound effect or a special thing at all. And here is where things heat up. We have unlocked the Clash of the Titans. So, Paratus, Proceratosaurus, Unimorphodon, and Pterodactylus. All of these normal looking creatures. No level, oh, like no 40 plus levels here. Um, right. So, what would be really good is to have carnivals. And would you look what we have here? Five Indoraptors ready to go. Um, but that's actually too much. Um, because look at that, we can kill uh, the Pro Stratosaurus in one hit. And you know what? Soda, let's go for it. Uh, and then we can use some lesser creatures. Now you might be thinking, Beaver, why don't you go for herbivores? Well, that gives Pro I What I could do is go for Indoraptor and then two herbivores, and we're pretty good. Um, that's actually the smarter play. So we'll do that. We'll not even waste some of our best carnivores. Indoraptor is going to take out the Pro Stratosaurus first. Bit of a waste of Indoraptor. We could po possibly even win this with just Indoraptor. The Alumbia and Monostegatops are just there for fail things. Just in case. And there you go, that's two. So it's 3,000. Yeah, 3,200. We go for two attack. Um, and then hopefully Pterodactylus should kill us going for two. Yeah. You, we can almost kill us in one. Banana Bee! Oh, if you were leveled up a little bit more, you could kill me in one. 
<laughs> but alas, you have to go for two. And then we nerf its attack by 50% and we gain a 50% buff. We kill it in two hits. So you know what? Haha, -ha, let's go for one reserve. There you go. <laughs> done and done. So that is one out of five done, as well as 75 DNA. So let's go for the restrictions. So this one, again, carnivores. Um, so we're gonna go for, actually this one's a little bit trickier, so we might have to go for these guys, just a little bit tougher. Uh, I will go for one reserve right at the bat because that Baronex cannot kill me. Look at him, he looks like me, he's got a beard and everything. <laughs> oh, he goes for two, whoa, 3,200 extra than the last one. Okay, so here we go for two and one reserve because, um, Olympia might be able to kill me. Oh, well, it, if it wasn't nerfed, it definitely could. Oh, could it? Yeah, it would kill me by two or three. <laughs> oh, another Baronix comes in. Goes for one. Oh, it doesn't kill me. Bless it. And that's wasted. So two kills it. And then two reserves. Just like that. Clash of the Titans, an event I actually like. And an event that has five battles. Very hard to come by. Reason why I like it? Well, the five battles I'll take as long as the creatures I'm facing aren't too crazy. Like they don't have 5,000 attack or something. Otherwise, I think it used to, but they've taken that off, so that's good. Because, I mean, to do this event, you need to be active. You need to complete loads of events. 28 within uh, two weeks, is it, I think? So, ooh, another Interruptor to be used here. In fact, we could even go for a level 20 Interruptor and kill that Concavenator, and then it's pretty much a walk in the park. We we'll use our own Baronex and an Indominus Rex level 30. Say, oh, look at it. Look at Concave in it, how big he is. I love the graphics on it. He looks gorgeous. <gasps> oh, 4,000 damage this time, slowly going up. Uh, so we'll do two and one reserve. A Padasaurus, actually, I don't know how much attack that's gonna have. Yeah, <laughs> he can't kill me in two hits. Oh, bless it. There's loads of health, but that's not gonna save it because I get 50% extra attack, meaning I still kill it in two. Still kill it in two. Bam! You don't have 10,000 to survive. A level 10. A level 10 Indoraptor. You'd have to have 10,000 health. Even at max level, something that a Patasaurus cannot hope to achieve in its wildest dreams. Unfortunately. Oh, let's go for six. And that's it. That's three battles out of five done. Just two left. Oh, we've got a code 19. You know what? I'm not going to say no to that. Let's go. <laughs> He's got the happy hand. Da, 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 da. Right, okay. Oh, no. I don't like these ones. Oh, I was close. Damn it. Only did two, basically. If you fail the first one, that's actually better. Uh, also, yesterday I was doing these code 19s. Got the same dinosaur twice. I got Superosaurus twice. Um, and it was exactly the same. Exactly the same layout. Like it went bar at the bottom and then the fingy ones and then the timey ones. And even these were exactly the same layout. So some dinosaurs have uh, obviously the um, compiled into tiers so that some dinosaurs have a certain pattern to them. He's going to do it again. I knew it. Oh, <laughs> well, over 200 DNA, it could have been a lot more. Give me a lot more, John. A lot more. But not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. Um, so I don't know if now, because of quarantine and all that stuff that's going on in the world, we can do code 19s quite frequently. Possible. It's a possibility, Jims. So I'm not going to go for the Smile Dawn tournament. I'm only what? Yeah, I did two battles and I got as much super DNA out of it as I wanted. I'm okay. So we'll do Clash of Times. But the Clash of Times, I think, gives a lot. It gives 50. Oh, interesting. Ooh, interessant. We go France, Francais. Um, what should we go for, guys? Um, I think, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to deviate. Oh, tell you what, we'll go for Pterodactylus. We'll go for Pterodactylus and Rage. I think that's us done. So we'll go for one reserve right at the bat. Um, basically, Rage is going to sweep after this. Interesting that, oh, okay, never mind, we're going to kill this thing. And then he's going to switch out Stigamote like a waste a turn anyway. So two hits, one reserve. Stigamote will come in, switch out to Mastodonosaurus, and I don't think Mastodonosaurus can kill us in one hit. He might be able to, though. Interesting that we're using Alogamus to win a Banogamus. Oh, okay. 
What is going on? This is perfect. Okay, so two, two reserves. He's going to have three. One is enough to kill me. He'll go for a full-on three attack, leaving himself wide open for Pterodactylus to sweep. And that is it. That's how you play. Ah, didn't even need rage. Nope, didn't even need it. And there you go, 3,000 attack. And we'll go for uh, two attacks and four reserves because, oh, we're getting the YOLO points. <laughs> oh, yes. That's how you do it. Oh, okay. Oh, we got another code 19. Ah, dinosaurs just breaking out left, right, and center. What is it, though? Ooh, it's a labby labby. Mmm, such a pretty dinosaur. A pretty lizard. Oh, I can do this one. Easy, but we're probably not going to get much DNA. Oh my god, no, we're not. <laughs> going to get nothing for this. Oh, what a waste of my time. So, it does appear that dinosaurs can have multiple... So, if you just had Indoraptor in your park, um, you would just get Indoraptor over and over on Code 19, I think. Still have yet to try that. I probably should while I don't need coin. I should try that. Hmm. Because if Interrupted does give the best... Oh, wow, that's tough. I knew it! I knew it! Oh, I did it too early. My bad, guys. I'm sorry. Ooh, but there you go. There you go. 60 DNA. <laughs> really not worth it. Five more Eupocephalus. We need 2,000 to unlock that first one. Uh, there you go. 14 out of 14. And you got the Hunter League. And then you've got the Dominator League. So we're missing out on... Uh, yeah. Actually, we don't get anything for... Oh, do we not get anything for Clash of Titans? Event... Oh, I don't think we do. Oh, that sucks. But we need to defeat... We need to fight Juggernaut 32 one times. Why is like a one times as a... <laughs> Why they put a double S one time? And then they should have been put in brackets. That's what they are. Lydia, it's always been one for making mistakes. But now that I know, it's because I think the prime... Well, it was not primary. Their first language is French, so that makes sense. Something lost in translation, maybe. Okie dokie. So, flyers and a carnival. So, we need... Or we can just power through. We can just power through. Good an interrupter. Oh, should we throw Should we throw in an interrupter? Should we just eat? You do Yeah, we'll use... Sorry, Metrophodon. We'll use Metrophodon. Then power through with an interrupter. And then, what's the other flyer we've got? <gasps> Swiss cheese! Let's go! Uh, oh, can he kill me in two hits? He definitely can. Okay, there we go. So this is how we're going to play it out. Like a domino effect. The first attack will kill him. Setting off his attack, which will kill me. Setting off my attack, which will kill him. And so on and so forth. And that's it. We pretty much won. So you can play the bots like dominoes. You knock one and that... We'll almost guarantee a victory. Like a slinky going down a stairs. How many toys can we come up with? In fact, action. Look at that. We can go for one reserve. Boom. You don't need an Indo Gen 2. I mean, level 20. You don't need an Indo level 30. But you probably do need an Indo level 10. Mid level I mean, it's, it's up for debate whether you want a level 20. Because that would have killed me there. But you know what? I, I didn't even need Swiss cheese. Or the Morphodon. Whatever you want to call it. It's killed it. Ooh, yes. Beautiful. Right, and there you go. A pack. A tournament pack. Usually takes hours. Took us less than a quarter of an hour to get. And boom. Uh, we got 2,500 and 500 bucks. Uh, unfortunately, some coin. And Bonogamous. And of course, 1,300 VIP points. And we've unlocked it. Now, this is the interesting thing. Will I get VIP again? What's that, Beaver? What, what, what are you talking about? Well, I don't know if it's still in the news. It's not. Okay, so what's this? More is always more. VIP subscribers always receive... Oh, it's just reminding us. Okay. And then Fidelity offers. Become Fidelity member, get access to exclusive offers. Well, there isn't any. So, yeah. <laughs> there is none there. Um, maybe in here? Oh, no, there is. Okay. So, we actually, for whatever reason, we get more off. The Legends Live On pack for 3,000. What even is in... What's in here? Um. It, oh, God, no. If it was just the tournament creatures, maybe? And even then, you don't get bucks for... Oh, oh, no, that's awful. Ugh. Who would even spend 5,000 bucks on this? Ooh. God. Um. I'm happy with my choice. 
I'm happy that I've chosen Fidelity over VIP because I don't need VIP. And there you go. Bwah! 64 uh, of super DNA for each of them there. Um, yes. Now, the reason why I'm saying why might I get VIP? I'm not. Don't worry. I'm not going to get VIP. There's no point in getting both. Fidelity for me seems to be the way forward. VIP is introducing a new building. Um, I don't know what it's for. I think it's to harvest VIP points from. Um, it's not here. Maybe I'll put up a picture of it if I remember. Probably haven't. Just going to put it out there. But you can find it yourself. Uh, and if you've played this game, you've seen it already. Um, maybe I will put it. Who knows? But basically, just like the DNA building that I lost, it took me months, if not a year, to max up. I lost because VIP slowly, and this game in general, slowly but surely filtered out all the ways that you could get books. Filtered out all the ways you could get DNA, apart from selling creatures, and it just I was like, I'm not going to support this anymore um, but the Fidelity did come in um, and I think Fidelity's alright it's not the best, by far but it's not the worst, I don't mind getting 200 books every day that's okay uh, um, and depending if I get to a certain amount of books where I'm happy, I might just cancel it um, but We've got um, a Therizinosaurus pack with a 100% chance and definitely, well, maybe even 300 bucks from that. Um, we just need some pterosaurs. So, we'll, because it's only a para, good God. Um, let's put a T-Rex and then like a really low level Terra and there you go, that's all you need. And straight in and it's dead. There you go, boom. I mean, well, there you go. And uh, there, there it is. Also need to take, this is gonna be a long episode because we've got to take on the new- Oh, there we have another code 19! Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Ooh, Gorgasuchus! Ooh, it's 31. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me. You know what? If I'm gonna miss one, I'd rather it be at the start, because that way I don't lose. Um, Because if you complete one, and you lose, you, you your space goes back on the top bar. You lose one. But if you haven't lost one, you can't go back. You can't go to minus. Uh, this one's a toughie because I think it's going to end or maybe even now it'll do the bar on the bottom again. Oh, it didn't. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this is a good one. I like this one. Yes. But look at all that DNA we could have had. Damn. And this is it. That would have been it. That would have been it. But we're going to have to do it again. There we go. Okay, so... Probably could have got like 600, maybe 700 DNA, almost a thousand there. Oh, and another one. See, this is what I mean. Oh, Unicorn Wizard. <laughs> All right, let's contain Unicorn Wizard. Um, I've never seen this. I've never, I've never done this before to him. Oh. So I do, th it used to be three a day you get for Code 19, but now I think they've just made them unlimited. So if you just continuously play the game, you can get loads of super DNA. If you've done all the events and stuff, which is really cool. I like that. And a good way to trigger these events is to do the mods. Um, you don't have to feed any of the raptors. All you have to do is just log in, log out. In fact, actually, if you just look in your dinosaur's enclosures, go in and out, in and out, it does trigger them sometimes. Um, there might also be a timer, though. Maybe I've stockpiled. I'm really not too sure. I'm not too sure. So it's going to be the bottom. Here we go. There we go. So how much do we get for that one? Ooh, 390, not bad. Perfect containment. Yes. Getting ever, ever so close. Okay, so let's, here we go again. Discover. Right, so is this two Tyranodons? Two Pterosaurs. Okay, so we're going to do the same tactic again here. We're just going to put in Carnaraptor, go for some low-level flies, because we don't need them. We do not need them. All we need to do is just go in straight away, go for one attack, and win. And then Shunosaurus comes in with a little bit more. But... Uh, it can't do anything. I mean, it could block twice, and then it would just drag it out. And if it was Jurassic World Alive, I'd do boring emoji, yawn. <laughs> oh, but he didn't. That's good. Speed it up for us. There's four of these blooming battles to get through. Another 50 DNA. Three pterosaurs. Now we need to focus on them. So, oh, man, I don't even need to do that. Um, so now we're going to go for one, two, three. Not the, not the best ones, but pretty decent. And then, I think in the last one, I wonder what it'll be. It'll probably just be the same battle again. Oh, it goes for two. Woo! Over half health. Uh, taken away there. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna have to do it. Gonna have to go for it. 
Okay, but he's only gonna have two. And he can kill me in two. Yeah, so perfect play. So we're gonna have, Skeletor will have three. Yeah, and go for two attack. Um, and then once we do that, we can have one in reserve. And then Serendostro, which ha actually has a lot of attack. Um, or will it? Might just have 500. Either way, he's only got 589 health. I forgot this is a new hybrid. Doesn't have much, uh... Oh, what? Ah, oh, sod you then. Skeletor's gonna risk the biscuit. Oh, he does it. Woo! Killed. Take it out. So the final one to unlock the Therizinosaurus. Oh, okay. It's not that crazy, to be fair. I'm just gonna use these guys. <laughs> I don't need to. I don't need to worry about it. I'm not dead in two hits. And then three hits kills them. Just like it did the last battle. I mean, yeah, it's a hybrid. And yeah, it is a level 155 Argentinosaurus. But um, I've got three dinosaurs. So I have three slots and you only had two. So ho! Argentino comes in. Look at that level. Look at it. Knows that two can kill me. Goes for two. Uh, two, four, six. Factor in the 64, that's 7, and he's dead. Yep, 1,000 attack. And there you have it. Didn't even need little Baba Eyes's. Lies Apprentice. Got little Banana Baba. Banana ba Banana Beef Baba. Oh, 200 bucks. Oh, we are flying through. And 655 people. Yes. I'll take it. And if you hadn't already unlocked, there is a Dinosaurus. Uh, what should we put in the hatchery? I like to put something in that only takes a day. Um, and I get dinosaurs every day, so it takes ages to, like, slowly get through these things. <laughs> I mean, the other three slots are taken up by tournament creatures because they take ages. I might as well just try and get through those. So, now we have the Juggernaut 32 for the gold trophy. So, um, I think we might as well just select a few carnivores. And all we need to do is... Inflict damage. Remember, inflicting damage is what gives us the most amount of points. So we use Ostafricosaurus. There he is. Let's go for some reserves. Why does it? We, we need to get it to level 10 as well. We need to do so many raid missions and get to level 10, and then we'll get loads of points. Now, fun fact this Juggernaut 32 is different to the original Juggernaut, uh, I think. Unless there's two. I can't remember. Because there was one that was basically just the Stegoceratops model. Sorry, a a Triceratops model. Um, it just was purple and had more horns. But then what Moody have decided to do is actually give this dinosaur, this Juggernaut 32, its own model. Which is awesome. And they didn't have to do that. I don't think anybody would have been first. But they put in the extra effort. Unless it was different. I might have to look through uh, my, old <laughs> my old videos. Oh no! He's dead. He's died. Dead. Right. Well, Sukumamus, you are useless, little flamethrower. I think that's what I used to call you in Jurassic Park Builder. Oh my God! He's doing no damage. Ooh. What are you, are you gonna do? One, two, one, two, and four reserves. Yes. <laughs> Take it out. Suck it. But we're about to die here, I think. This is actually really tough. Usually, on the, the bosses don't have that much health, right? 3,800 at level 2 is quite a lot. Uh, one, two, one. Factor in two, just in case anyway. Oh, we did three. That's still over half health. We, oh, my God. Oh, we're going to need, like, an Indoraptor or something to get us to level 10. Also, oh, there it is, the seven. Bam. Hmm. Might as well just go all out, eh? Might as well just try and kill it. Maybe I could have been clever about that, actually. I might have been able to get it to level 3. I should have went for 2 attack. And 3 block? I don't know what his health is. It's quite low, but his attack's also quite low. Yeah, yeah. He could kill me in 3, though. And there's the 4. Whoopush! Yeah, yeah. The battle rages on. Uh huh. And there it is, 16,000. So, do four attacks of five. Did we do that? We might have done one. Yeah, we did one. 30 blocks. Well, there you go. Also, yes, that's what I was going to say. So, you get a daily super DNA missions, right? Um, and it does say complete so many... Uh, where is it? Raid missions, is it? Do we not have that? 
reach boss level. Yeah, here it is. Complete 10 raid missions. Now, if you complete all the raid missions, you can't get that anymore. Uh, or at least you, it does appear, but you can't get it. Um, but, if you don't, and you get the minimum, you could have, what, two, two days worth of completing that mission? So, there you have it. Just saying. So, two super rare creatures one time, and deal a thousand damage. Well, we still need to get more pie. So, let's use some carnivores that are super rares. So, one, two, and may as well do that. I mean, it's not costing me anything. <laughs> right. Okie dokie. Look at you, little spine to suit you. You're level one. Why haven't I fed you? <laughs> you could be so much more. You could even be level 20. I could fuse you guys together. Do you want to be one? Perfect. You're the fuse. Well, one, two, three, four, five, because we need to do the five attacks. So there you go. There's one. Uh, we've got three left to do. Three five attacks to complete that one. Come on, get to your feet. Yes, you take time. Mm-hmm. Right, five. One, two, three. He's probably going to go for four. I think four can kill me. Oh, he goes for five. Now, does that count towards my five? Right, what's at level ten? Whoa, 500. 600 extra attack, actually. Uh, so we'll go for another five here to get him up to level five and do a five attack. Five, five, five. Fives, everyone. And I'll jump you get. Uh, however, we're now going to have to block for three and reserve for one, and then attack for five with the Pritrodon. Because that four was going to kill me. Whoosh! Carnivores are all attack. It's beautiful. So one, two. In fact, because he went for an all-out attack, I'm just going to go for two. So it didn't really make much of a difference, because I'm still ha going to have to go for five. Whoa! Little tail whip. And just to make sure I don't accidentally go for six, I'll put one in reserve straight away. And there you have it. Bam! Taken down. And now we're about to die. So we need to get them to level seven and level ten, which we're pretty darn close to. We have just done one, two, three missions, taking us out of four out of ten raid missions. Oh, it's going to be so satisfying when, you, when we collect all that super DNA. That's what I do it for. Collect them all at the same time. <laughs> Hmm, right, so that was 32, 33,000, that's a lot. Damn. Okay, yep, that's 200 DNA, 30 DNA, and 200 DNA. So for five bucks, we got 430 DNA. That's a good trade. So for 50 bucks, it would be 2,000. For 500 bucks, it'd be 20,000 DNA. Yeah, I think that's all right, actually. So wait, what's the missions? Uh, two res and three pterosaurs. Uh, I'm not going to bother about that. I will do the two rares, though. Because I still need to get this guy deaded. <laughs> so, where's Carnoraptor? It's going to be higher, right? Oh, I've already used him. I forgot about that. Damn. Okay. Rares. Uh, I guess? <laughs> and then we may as well use a Pritrodon, right? And just do as much... Okay, we'll probably get him to level... Uh... Level 7, so that's one mission done. And then two more raid missions done. Look at Pyroraptor, look at those eyes! Oh yeah, he couldn't have killed me. Ah. Oh, is Carnotaurus gonna kill it? I don't think Carnotaurus can get 5,000 damage even with 8. Oh, but he might have a chance! He might do it! Oh my god! Please go all out. Juggernaut, please do it. Go for 4. I want to see it. I want to see if Carnotaurus can kill it. Damn. Okay, so we can definitely go for seven. Whoop. Can I do it? I just want to check. Two, th five thousand. It's got to be doable, right? Oh, it'd be four thousand eight hundred if he got it all off. That was so close. Look at that. Even if you only have res, you could technically kill a level six. I mean, you'd probably have another rare now instead of by Pritrodon that I have, but still. Um... One, two, and then two reserves. Did he have a block? He might have. No. Nope. Okay. Bloop. Hopefully, it doesn't attack me here. And I can go for six and maybe kill it again to get it to level eight. I wonder what this thing is like at level 99. That'd be ridiculous. Okay, six. Oh, yeah, he's going to kill me. Oh, well, I was worth a shot. <laughs> I didn't realize he had, he had reserves. All right. 6,000 attack. Well, we only needed 3,000, so we did that mission anyway. There you go. Two. 
30 and 300. So 330 for five bucks for that one. Not bad. Um, uh, oh my god, what's with all the pterosaurs? Bugger off with that. <laughs> we still need to get level 10 though. Still need to get level 10. So we'll just continue with the, the missions to uh, do damage because they give the most. And I'd rather not waste books uh, trying to get the little 30 DNA missions. If, if I'm going to spend books. I might as well get as much DNA out of it as possible. Alright. Four. One, two. I don't think that can kill me. It might be able to if he goes for four. Okay. So. One, two. Three. Factor in two just in case. Yep, there you go. That's to level eight. Two more levels. Oh, I should block as well, actually, because that's a mission. I might as well try it, right? Might as well just keep on blocking. Right, five. That's enough to kill me. He's probably going to go for five. Yep, there it is. Okay. Hmm. What do I do? I'm going to go for four reserve and one block, because that helps towards that block if we do need it. If, we, if I do want to go for that raid mission... Okay, fair enough. He's got one block. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, damn, I have to go for one extra. Ah, okay, so six. So that's level nine. Done and done. So you don't need level 40 Pritrodon to do this. A level 10 is just good. Just good enough. Also, make sure you have 20 of them. <laughs> I have loads of them. I've just never fused it. I, I think that's still a dinosaur I don't have maxed up. Because there's no need for me. I don't need level 40 Pride Trono. Maybe I should. Maybe I should get it. Okay, so can we get him to level 10? Ah, uh, that's it. Level 10 acquired. I wonder how much damage that is. Altogether. I'm going to say about 50,000. 50,000 damage. Oh, is that, is that being too optimistic? Okay, 40. I'm going to say 40,000. He's going to go for five. whoop -a. That's fine, that's fine, yes, yes. It does look cool. Like they chose purple. Oh, it was only 30. 31,000. Did think I was being a bit too optimistic. Alright, so it's 450 bucks. Next one, 750. Okay, uh, so we should, if we go into here, look at all that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so we still need to do three more uh, raid battles. Collect from the DNA building one more to bugger off. <laughs> right, so let's go for the 10,000. Let's do 10,000 damage. Um, right, so all we need is 10,000 damage. Hmm. Humdy, humdy, hum. Okay, so Tijongosaurus. Another Tijongosaurus, because I think he'll just go all out and just try and kill me uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, let's go for carnivores to get that advantage bonus. Uh, and go for Soprano Titan. And I think we just got all out. Five bucks, 750 DNA. Yeah, that's really good. So that would be 7,000 DNA for 50 bucks. And 500 bucks would be 70,000. Not bad. There we go. Lured him in. Lured him in. And remember, it doesn't matter how much health Juggernaut has. It's how much attack you do uh, to it. So if I was to do 10,000 worth of damage here. And he only had 7,000 health. It would still be 10,000. So, here we go. Six. So, one, two, three, four. That's it. Four. And I've done that mission. Two extra. And, well, he's level 11 now. So, that's something. Makes it a little bit harder for the next mission. But, is it going to double? Is it going to ask for me to do 20,000 damage? And I think I would probably get 1,000 DNA for that. Hmm. Well. Wait, it only went what? Really? Well, I'm going to use blocks then. I'm going to try and do that other mission then. <laughs> I don't need to do any more damage to you. What's done is done. Look at that model for Soprano Titan. Now that I remember being an absolute pain in the ass to mask out. Taking the pen tool and doing each spike for a thumbnail. Oh my god. And people might say, well, Beaver, why don't you just magic wand it? If, well, for one, I'd be like, wow, you know about magic wand? <laughs> uh, but usually there's different backgrounds behind it, so it doesn't work. God, that was a nightmare. Okay, come on, keep on doing it. I'm going to do that raid mission. I'm going to do it. So that's eight, I think. And then another, so that's 12. We need to do 30 blocks, I think it is. For whatever reason, Soprano Titan's got this thing uh, completely in shock. It doesn't know what to do. 
It wants me to kill it. I don't know why. Oh, he's got five. Is he going to go for five, though? Right, so that's 15. I think we need around about 30. Because I've only done one or two blocks. It's mostly been reserves and attacks. I haven't been wondering. I haven't been thinking. Oh, I need to survive this. I've just been thinking, kill. Kill. <laughs> oh, look at the innovation center in the background. Lighting up. That is pretty. Not a 3D model, though. It's just an image. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. But definitely 20 blocks, though. Ooh. He's going to kill me if he goes for seven. I think he will. Yep, yeah, there it is. Not bad. A lot of blocks done. You did good, Soprano Titan. Could have killed it. He chose the higher ground. To help me with my mission. <laughs> oh, we might have done it. Yeah, we did it. That's one and two. 750 DNA. Woo -hoo. And 25,000. Well, this is it. This is all we need is 25,000 damage. So we'll put in the other two Tijongs. And then a carnival. Um, 25,000 is a lot, though. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Um... Should we use Erloff? Yeah, we'll use Erloff. Because, I mean, I'm not going to do any more battles. I'm not going to play this game again today. That's me done. <laughs> they can all recharge and wait for tomorrow. Yep, so there it is. Just getting all of this from my Erlophosaurus. My little rainbow Dilophosaurus. Imagine if in the new Jurassic World movie, everybody has been waiting for Dilophosaurus since the first movie to show up. And they put in... This, this version of Dilophosaurus. <laughs> and he spits rainbows. <laughs> Can you imagine? It would be so funny. I'd love to see all these hardcore Jurassic fans. But, oh my god. I can't <laughs> I'd just be like, like, come on. What do you expect, man? <laughs> it's a joke at this point. <laughs> oh, dear. That's why I said in my tweet that the ending to Jurassic World will be Claire will marry a Dilophosaurus. You'll not see it coming. Chris Pratt this whole time has just been a Dilophosaurus. <laughs> right. Uh, oh god, yeah, that was like 60,000 damage. Oh, I wish you would spit rainbows. 67,000 in one, one attack. Thank you. You give me a lot of DNA and super DNA. Ooh. So that's for five bucks, a thousand DNA. So for 50 bucks, that's 10,000. For 500 bucks, 100,000 DNA. Oh my god! We're still not dead! Okay, well, I may as well, like, just attack you again, I guess, and kill you. <laughs> Get you up to level 12. Hit me! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But, well... Oh, look at that! He made a raptor noise there! There it is. Death awaits. You did good, old friend. Right, oh, I can't wait to collect all this super DNA. Oh, we got another code 19. So it's 88,000 damage. Well, it goes towards the total. Look, you don't see it go up by 88,000, though. Oh, well, it jumped by like 100,000 there. And the next one's 1,500. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, okay. So let's do this. What is it? Ooh, it's Acrocanthosaurus. God, we got so much super DNA. This is awesome. Like, this, Ludia's done a good job. They really have. <clears throat> during quarantine adding the giga scent extending the uh the darting range for Jurassic world alive and in this one you can just do loads of code 19s so if you'd played a lot and there's loads of events anyway there's lots of stuff to do if you just play these two games well you'll never be out of things to do but don't spend money on it <laughs> unless it's like fidelity that seems to be the only thing that's worth it because you could outright buy books, or you could long-term invest. But make sure you get your parents' permission. I don't care how old you are. 10, 20, 30. <laughs> That's five of that. And here we go. So how much, how much is this? 25, oh my God, there's so much. Okay, sod it. Let's just collect. Let's just collect all of it. There you go. Oh, so how much? Is it going to put us over? No, oh, we're eight off. We're eight off another Indoraptor. Oh, 1,992. And we're 200 off 
another mono Stegotops. We're close. We're getting close to the Eupocephalus. We're getting close to that hybrid. Getting close to this one. This could be the best rare hybrid. Mm, but you do have Duplosuchus, so... Huh, maybe not, because Duplosuchus is good against carnivores. But anyway, guys, that is it. It's been 40 minutes of fun. <laughs> but if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Thank you again for all the support. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.